We welcome you to the Morgan County Partnership's Positive Action Daily Community Vlogcast. La señora Hot y Sheima os damos la bienvenida a los vídeos diarios de Acción Positiva. Today is Fun Friday! Hoy es Viernes Vistazo! Let's get ready for a awesome day of learning and wellness. Listos para un día alucinante de aprendizaje y bienestar. The positive action word for this week is empathy, and in Spanish, empatía. Now watch this beautiful video of Fun Friday. It's time for positive actions. Hola. Sobra de acción positiva. positiva. Today is Fabulous Fun Friday. Friday. Hey boys and girls, on Friday for positive actions, we take you to meet a friend out in our community. How about that, Miss Shane? That's real exciting. That's real exciting. Now we're going to meet a special friend today and we're going to hear what inspires them, what their favorite books are, and what positive actions they do every day out in the community. You know why? why? Because we want you to do positive actions too. Stay tuned, meet a new friend that cares about you. You. Have a great day, bye. Podcast, okay? Oh my goodness, are you ready? I don't know, I don't know where I'm going yet. <laughs> okay, woohoo! It's time for positive actions! Yay! Hola, hola! Es hora de acción positiva! Ah, sí! Ah, sí! Positiva! That's great. Morgan County students, today is Fun Friday! And Miss Shayla and I found a super special friend here at our courthouse. Can you please tell everyone your name and what do you do? My name is Pete Gordon and I love playing music and I play music a lot and I used to be a teacher. I'm a retired teacher from Morgan County Schools but I'm on the school board now because I am devoted to keeping opportunities open for young people. And you period. guys Thank you so much. Oh, Mr. Gordon, I'm really excited to introduce him to you today, boys and girls, because many years ago, my little girl, Katie, had Mr. Gordon in math here at the high school and also at the middle school when she was in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Gordon is an amazing teacher. We are so blessed that now in Morgan County, he's also on our school board. Why, guys? because he cares about you. Yes, That's he does. Right. And That's especially right. the schools here in Morgan County. So I'm glad you're here today. And it's really cool because we're celebrating the bicentennial of Morgan County. That's where we live. And Mr. Gordon came with his guitar to help us do a song. Happy birthday, Morgan County. Thanks for coming. It's my pleasure. Thank you for doing all of this for us. Awesome. For the county and for the students. Now. Some of our students, Mr. Gordon, are in the middle school, so they may remember what, three years ago, we got to interview you. That seems like a long time, right? Or was yeah. it four years? I think four. Four, yeah. Four so we would love to share with our Morgan County scholars more about you. Can we ask you a few questions? You can certainly oh. ask me a few questions. Okay. okay. I have the first one. All right. When you were a little boy, what you want to be when you grow up? I always wanted to play music. I always wanted to play music and I was lucky to 
uh, be able to play music full time. And I, as a matter of fact, I moved to Morgan County a long time ago to join a traditional band, Crit the Hollow String Band, and played with them professionally. And I still play all the time. That's beautiful. You know what, when we talk about um, our dreams, what we like, I like to talk about music too, because our students know, remember what, miss, what instrument Mrs. Hot likes? Yeah, she, I love the saxophone. <laughs> and I really feel like music is a great way to communicate whatever you're trying to say. Like happy I birthday, agree. Morgan Kennedy. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, my next question for the students. Could you share what is your favorite book or movie? Oh, gee. I. There's um, a book that really started me off reading called Endurance, and it was about uh, the trip to Antarctica by Ernest Shackleton back in 1912 or 13. And he didn't make it all the way to the South Pole. He and his, and his group didn't make it all the way because his ship was caught in ice, uh -oh. couldn't move, the ice got stronger and stronger, crushed the ship, but it was an amazing adventure story. Wow. And after that, the, there's a there's an author named John Steinbeck whose oh. books I love and I, East of Eden was the first one of his that I really uh, that really excited me Is that and then of mice and men yeah. and Cannery Row mm -hmm. and the Grapes of Wrath and John Steinbeck really uh, got me reading and I, I still love his books John Steinbeck boys and girls <laughs> I'm lost now what's your next question. Did you do a positive action today? Oh, yeah. Positive action. I, yes, I did. And I always try to do, <clears throat> to stay positive and do positive things. I did all through my teaching. And I, and I try, I say that every song that I sing is a song of hope. Every single song, even if it's a sad song, is a song of hope. And today, uh, every day, my wife Margaret and I take a walk with our puppy dogs. Aww. And we look at each other and say, let's make today a great day. And, uh, and the walk with the dogs in the woods, you know, perfectly quiet, uh, sets us out in the right way. What a beautiful way to start your day. And remember that in your school day too, Morgan County Scholars, every day is a new day to do something positive too. And we all have things happening in our lives, right? Mm, okay. um, and, and as long as it, it can be... It can be something scary, maybe, or something that you're worried or nervous about. But as long as you start your day feeling positive, that's a good thing for your heart, right? Because it helps you get through even the hard stuff, too. Mm -hmm. And a walk in the woods, what a beautiful thing to get to do here in Morgan County, where we have these beautiful mountains. It's the most beautiful county in the whole country, and I'm not exaggerating. That's right. <laughs> that's right. All right, Mr. Gordon. Yes. Now. You've worked really hard on our Morgan County Board of Education, okay? Can I ask you this? What inspires you? Because you're retired, right? Yes. And it's a lot of work when you're on our school board. What inspires you every day to come back and still be a part of our school system here in Morgan County? It's very simple, Angie. What, what inspires me is that uh, I said this just before, um, I want to keep opportunities open for young people. I feel that I was lucky when I grew up and had lots of opportunities. And I think sometimes times seem tough. Mm -hmm. And uh, both my wife Margaret and I have decided to devote our lives to the young people of Morgan County to do what we can do to make sure that they can do the best that they can do, the best that they're able to do. Thank you. Thank you. That's wonderful. And thank your wife to Morton County. He's here for you guys. Mm -hmm. So you guys have opportunities. And if you ever have any questions, I ask Mr. Gordon questions all the time, you know. He's open. You never be afraid to ask someone a question too because we're here to help you guys find your opportunities and reach your goals. Ah. That's beautiful. All right. <laughs> and I will visit your school too. I, I will. Yeah. I get around to the schools from time to time. So really? open for any kinds so, of things. So come into your school. Hey, how about Mr. Gordon? What if we come to your school and sing Happy Birthday Morgan County? <gasps> Would that be fun? Yes. Hey, we'll have to talk to the principals, right? Mm -hmm. And Mr. Gordon had a great idea. He actually asked me that before. We have a song, Happy Birthday, Morgan County. We're going to share with you guys. We're going to come sing it with you. Would you come along? I, if, I can, if I can make it, I will be there. All righty. So we'll yes. see you soon. All right, it's time to go.
Bye. Happy birthday, Morgan County. My home. And yours too. <laughs> oh, look at that. That was awesome, Super Scholars. Now pause the video and discuss about it. It's Let's Talk Time! to get comfortable on the magic carpet, feeling your body sink into its warm and cozy fabric. As you inhale and exhale, feeling more and more relaxed and gazing up at the starry night sky. Slowly the carpet begins to rise and glide gently over the rooftops. You carefully peek over the edge of the carpet to see the town lights below you. The carpet keeps you safe and secure and comfortable as you begin to glide over mountaintops and trees. You continue to feel relaxed and calm with the warm and fuzzy carpet. You gently get up and wave goodbye to the magic carpet, hoping you will soon have another adventure. 
take a few moments to take some deep breaths beginning to stretch. When you are ready, you may open your eyes, keeping in mind that you can imagine yourself on a magic carpet ride going anywhere, whenever you'd like. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed that and that you all are staying healthy and safe. Hey, super scholars and positive partners, go to materialsandpositivevaluesnetwork.com for daily family fun. You're going to find really cool things to do with family art therapy. Have fun. Thank you for joining us from your home, your school, or your community. Gracias por acompañarnos desde vuestra escuela, hogar, o comunidad. And remember, you are unique. You are important and you are wonderfully made. Recordad, sois especiales, importantes y maravillosos. Aww. <laughs> Bye. All right.